Alright, let's make this look just a little bit nicer. So we're going to grab that little corner there, drag it out a half step. That way we can see a lot more detail. And of course, if you can't do this from your current drawing, then uh, you can scale it manually by double clicking and changing the scale ratio here. Now that means you may have to adjust your balloons a little bit. So in my case, I have to move a lot of these back in. That's okay. I still like this look much better. After that, I'm going to go ahead and say Place Views and New Sheet. I want another a size paper sheet, so there's sheet 1 with my explosion. Sheet 2 is going to be my top view. So now I have to go searching for it, because it's not something that's open currently. Flash's front is the thing I'm looking for, and you can just rotate it around with these things here. Now I'm going to show a top view, or I'm sorry, a front view, a, a view there for the thickness, and I'm going to come back inside here and say a section view to go right through the middle. And you know what? Let's just get rid of that one there. And instead, we'll put another view here and here. And of course, the ISO view we always make shaded so we can see more detail on that. And the things I am most interested in are going to be the center to center distance here. I want to see you did that part correctly. So let's go to annotate. And it'd be nice if we could do a center mark. Um, it looks like it's going to let us, which is really nice. I didn't think that it would. So we should see that center to center is three inches. Perfect. And I would like to see that you have this edge around the outside. It says 0 0.03, but if you go to precision and tolerance, it's actually 0 0.025. We just have to change the units here to show three pass instead of two pass, and then it won't round up on us. Before we click OK, we're going to add a TYP over here. That means typical. So all the way around, it has that. Now, I don't care to uh, dimension all of these little features in here. That seems a bit much. What I am interested in, though, is going to be uh, top to bottom of this little hexagon here. Should be a quarter inch. And top to bottom of the thing that we're actually fitting it inside of should be 0.3 inches. Now that section view is getting in the way just a little bit, so I'm just going to stretch it down move the letter with it and I might even move it out to the side so that it doesn't cut through the point three. Alright, so most important things we have here we have how big that lip is in between we have top to bottom that'd be the interference fit we know that everything around it is point zero two five I want to see what the total thickness is here so it should be about 0.15. And then the section view, I want to show a couple of things. So let's show from here to here. Should be 0 0.025. So again, change your precision to show three places after. And we're going to show the exact same kind of thing going from here to here. Instead of 0.13, that's going to be 0.125. So make sure primary units go out to three decimal places, out to the thousandths. That should be it for this view. Um, for me, this was my top, or my front. And I have that in the wrong place, so I'll fix that in just a second. I'm just going to hit escape a couple of times. There we go. Drag that down in place. Leave that right where it's at. 
and we're going to go on to our next page.